Brit it's a summer camp unlike any other, featuring football, High point. Good job. basketball, All right, who's in? soccer, Go! Sprint, sprint, sprint! boxing, haircuts, and more. And it's all free. Everyone's free. Free 99, literally everybody. Gotcha. Jordan Campbell started Winter Circle Athletics in Corona. He grew up in the area, played football at USC, and then in the NFL. During the school year, Winter Circle is a charter school slash training facility. This hey. summer, all kids are invited to train here once a week at no cost. We wanted to give away a million dollars worth of free training this summer. So our goal was to get about 1,200 kids here on campus. It's time to go, time <laughs> to show up. <laughs> so the difference between this school and other schools is here, you have actual NFL guys throwing you the ball. Yes, sir. Right. Dante Dion of the LA Rams works with the kids while training here himself. If I, when I was that age, had an NFL guy to come back, or multiple dudes to come back and be a part of something that I'm doing, it would have just gave me life and joy, you know, and hope. So definitely want to be an inspiration. Tyler Beadle is certainly inspired. And it just makes me want to work harder and be like that. You don't mean you don't think? What do you think? Go get some water. At 12, he's a standout in football and in basketball, where he showed me a thing or two on the court. Woo! I've gotten a lot better in sports, and I feel like I've gotten stronger. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Last one, back up. Break, ball. Marcus Williams of the New Orleans Saints spends hours here every day. Being able to help them is just is more valuable to me than just only trying to help myself. Marcus Williams. Marcus is one of several pros who started training here as a teenager under the supervision of head trainer Alicio Cabildo. Cabildo says it's rewarding to see his former students training Break. his current students. And it gives these kids a mindset like, hey, they were in my shoes just a few years ago. It gives them some type of goal to attain to him. Set, hit. Kyle Fitz of the Chicago Bears used to train here in college, but says the facility has improved quite a bit since then. It's better than almost all the all the college facilities, all the NFL facilities. They even have a cryotherapy rapid recovery center. I wish I had this growing up as a little kid. I feel like I've been way better. Hey. There you go. Aiden Breland is an eighth grader training with Kenny Clark of the Green Bay Packers. When you see somebody that big and that strong and they're not even in high school yet, yeah, yeah. what goes through your mind? Man, if, if I'm still in the league when he, when he get there, I'm gonna have to play him soon. You know? <laughs> um, and what do you think of the fact that, that he says uh, he's gonna see in the NFL one day? He better watch out. <laughs> there you go. Aiden recently received a college scholarship offer from Oregon after getting one from Arizona State. What did it mean to you to get another offer? Uh, more motivation, seeing how many I can get at 14 going up to college. Hey, a big thank you to editor Jake Fromm and to photographer Ken Moore, who shot that story shortly before retiring. We love you, Ken. We miss you already. For more, head to WinnerCircleAthletics.com. Did he say Arizona State Sun Devils? Yeah, maybe. He yeah. yeah. He's already got two college offers. He's wow. not even in eighth grade I saw yet. That. <laughs> now, are they reliant on corporate funding? Or I mean, it's free, right? It's free for the summer. They get some corporate funding, and then they're doing this as part of a promotion to sort of get their, their name out there as well. Wow. But pretty cool. Some future pros there, huh? Some future pros and some current pros. For sure.